Comment vous dites-vous, monsieur Très bien, merci. Bien. Bon, merci beaucoup, monsieur. Bien, bien. So just one word for the French TV. What is your reaction to the uh, well, I've, I've come here to uh, to know of the well-being of uh, injured people here uh, out of the uh, blast yesterday in Lahore, which was uh, terrible. 22 people died, and dozens of them were injured. But I, I had come over here. This government has completely failed to control terrorism. They have completely failed to control extremism. Eight years is not a small period, with billions of dollars flowing in the coffers of Pakistan and with the most modern gadgetries at their disposal. Yet, you see killings taking place every now and then, everywhere, all over Pakistan. This was not the case when a civilian government was in power. This was not the case when a democratic dispensation was in place. So I think it is a point uh, to ponder over uh, the um, performance of this government. They have failed in each and every sector. Look at uh, load shedding. The country is uh, in darkness uh, when most of the day the villages are in darkness for uh, four weeks, uh, uh, four days a week. And uh, look at our agriculture, look at our industry, look at our trade, even in, in these hospitals. I mean, I mean the government hospitals in main cities, I mean, most of them are not connected with uh, a generator for uh, emergency purposes. So when, uh, you know, you have an emer emergency, you can't handle that and people die. That's a great shame. I think uh, we need to take stock of this situation and the only and the only answer is free and fair elections through an independent government and that can probably resolve the problems of Pakistan. Do you feel we were interviewed, uh, your, your brother yesterday at his place actually yesterday morning just before the blast and we asked him about his personal security. Do you think the events yesterday changed or could change the, the plans about the security of the campaign? Well, I'm not aware only a, a free and fair above board transparent inquiry can uh, answer these uh, questions. But what I'm saying is that the entire country is uh, insecure. The life and property of people are uh, not safe. Security staff is itself exposed to these threats, as uh, was the case yesterday. So I think it is a gross failure of the government. It must resign and vacate the place for more competent people to uh, run the affairs of the country, to serve the people, people who are elected by the people people who are elected in a transparent election. That is the only answer and there is no option. Thank you. Maxi. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Dr. Rajan.